Watermelon eating, hula hoops, sack races. There are so many traditional ways families across America and around Idaho celebrate the 4th of July. In council, though, their long running tradition is a unique and prickly one, to say the least. Joey Prechtel shows us the porcupine races. Well, Independence Day here in Council is filled with events as well as tradition. And you know, while fireworks may be a mainstay on the 4th of July, people here, they come to the football field for the can't miss porcupine races. Because nobody else does this kind of stuff. So might as well just do it. An annual tradition. Let's do it for the people. I mean, a lot of people come to do it and put on a good show for them. These small communities just come together. Unlike any other. Porcupines, it's like the biggest excitement. It gathers people around. A 4th of July event filled with quills, brooms, and trash cans. It starts with catching the porcupines the night before. It's pretty fun. You just go out and you run in the hay fields and just go take a trash can and go put it over it. The teams name their porcupines even. Take Zane and Shade here, naming theirs Trouble. They're not good because they can quill you, so they're trouble. Then they bring the rodents to the football field to let the games begin. The porcupines are auctioned off to the crowd, and that money goes back to the community. These small communities really come together to support their communities. You know, it's, it's a lot of fun. Ready, set, go! So when it's go time, though, every team comes up with their own strategy. You try to get it to move with a, with a trash can, and then the, the broom kind of just steers it a little bit. But it's anyone's guess. Depending on what it does when you let it out of the trash. When the race starts. You never know what that thing's going to do. They all just kind of hope for the best. Nerve wracking, it just wouldn't move, and then finally it just took off, but it's kind of scary. <laughs> While some porcupines take off, others, they need a little tender love and care to cooperate. Just try to get, try to coax it or do whatever you can. But no matter the outcome, the crowd sure does get into it. It was everything I thought, and I think next year they're going to have a lot more porcupines. And now, with the races over, the porcupines will be free again. You release it where you catch it, so that way it's back into its own habitat. No harm, no foul. No, no porcupines were harmed. <laughs> I did talk to the organizer of the races after the event this year who told me that in terms of participants, this was somewhat of a down year. Now, when I asked him why, he simply told me that a lot of the people that participate in the past just simply could not catch those prickly critters this year. In Council, Joey Prechtel, Idaho's News Channel 7.